What up, man? My name is Pimpton. I represent 306, Regina, Saskatchewan. Originally born in Trinidad and Tobago, I've lived in Canada since 1994. I represent the crew called CJE, that's a group of local Saskatchewan artists. We hold hip hop down in this town, or province, or whatever you want to call it. Uh, yeah, we've been rocking together since about 2010. I myself are one of the founding members of CJE, as well as there's like about three other, four other main like stage rappers, and then we got a bunch of behind the scenes production. We got a team, it's a pretty big team right now, so. Pimpton, uh, when I was, honestly, when I was like, I was like in grade four, Pimpton was just like, I was a little hip hop dancer. I used to do hip hop dancing and all the little girls used to run up and try to, you know, be my friend and whatnot. So people used to just kind of classify me as a pimp and I was a little pimp, so in my mind, Pimpton just made sense, you know. Uh, I don't know, my style pretty much, it, it's just really my attitude. My, my style is just a reflection of how I felt when I heard that beat or if I wrote the song prior to hearing the beat then however I felt in the moment, you know? Like I really like to experiment a lot. I really like to switch up what I'm doing or try to innovate, you know? Try to always be on my toes, try to challenge myself. I like beats that challenge me, you know, to have to try to do something new. So my style, I don't know, I'd say it's it's kind of like the seasons, you know? It's changing, it's the same, but it's not ever really the same. Uh, videos, which am I most proud of? I'd probably have to say the Andre Nicotina one, because, you know, that's my dog. I've been a fan of Nicotina since I was in, like, elementary school, you know? Since skateboarding was a thing, it's like I was bumping Nicotina, so... That was definitely getting to go kick it with Nicky. You know, I spent his birthday with him and shit, getting to do that. And, you know, smoke abundant amounts of weed with him, you know, and like just live that lifestyle. That was probably that was probably the best one for sure so far. Right now, I got a lot of things on the go. Like we got this new project, Killer Call Me Killer Volume Two. It's supposed to be dropping. Well, it's scheduled to be dropping this fall, September. Uh, I've got a bunch of singles, bunch of videos already, like pretty much ready to go. But just we're following this really strict schedule, so. We'll see how that ends up flipping out in the end, right? But long story short, we got Killa Call Me Killa Volume 2. We got a, a tour. We're linking up with a producer I know, Cold Beats. He lives out in Norway. So we're trying to work something out here, trying to get the province backing us now that we've been working with Sask Music and Creative Sask. Like, essentially, they've seen that we're going to do it without or with, or with or without their help. So now they're full on board. You know, everyone's helping out. So long story short, like, just watch, you know, pimped and keep your eyes locked because we got a lot of stuff coming for you in the next two, three, five years, you know, like, lockdown. I mean, it's growing. It's amazing. Like, we got artists like YG coming here tonight, you know, we've had Nicotina here. We've had probably most of the members of the Wu-Tang here, you know, we've had Snoop Wiz here, like, it's whatever. It's mo There's money here, right? And wherever there's money, the hip-hop scene will thrive if the community will get involved, you know? If the community can do what they need to do to make hip-hop on the radar of the other folks who necessarily weren't um, integrated in that kind of a lifestyle, then definitely the scene is just something that will always be growing. So in comparison to a giant city like Toronto, it's definitely in an infant stage, right? But, I mean, three years ago, you know what I mean? Like, we're in the womb still, so right now it's like, things are growing, like it's popping off. Saskatchewan hip hop is killing it right now. Out of Regina, definitely like, you know, we have to give props to Def3, because he was like pretty much the first, well, one of the first. I knew my one homie, my older cousin, he was part of a group called Contagious. Like, uh, other favorites, I, um, I really fuck with those, uh, the Canadian Currency Kids. I fuck with like Johnny Keys. Mm, I don't know, man. Murky Waters. Like a lot of my homies produce or rapper involved in the game somehow, but definitely, you know, the people that I roll with, like my crew, CJE, those are my favorite, you know? Like if you check my CD player, like those are the discs you're actually gonna find. But aside from that, it's like, you know, I respect everyone who gets up on the stage and rocks that shit, because long story short, like, we need them to be able to be us, right? Like, hip-hop, it's like we need everyone. It's a big community kind of thing, so my favorite is really anyone who impresses me when they touch that mic, you know?
<laughs> Yo, what up? It's your boy Pimpton, 306 represent CJE. Right now you're watching Stax TV. 